Now picture this, an abandoned mine is set to be transformed into a 400 acre woodland. Now that's the equivalent of over 160 rugby pitches. It will be an oasis to people and wildlife, slap bang in the middle of an urban landscape. Over a quarter of a million trees will be planted by young people to create a new native woodland to call their own. As the wood grows and thrives, visitors will get lost wandering around paths, roaming open grasslands and exploring new wildlife habitats. There are so many reasons why this is brilliant. So firstly, there's potential here for thousands of children to be involved in the young people's forest. And this is an opportunity for every single one of them to learn that they can make a positive impact and a difference on the world around them. And I think that's invaluable. Also, the forest is going to be a place for fun, learning, adventure, uh, forest schools, bushcraft, festivals. So it's going to impact the wider community as well as the young people who are directly involved in creating it. And hopefully that everyone who has some kind of connection to the forest will go on to inspire others elsewhere in the UK too. But we need young people involved right from the start. Their decisions will help shape what this forest will become. Their vision will help this forest to grow into a place for them and their community. We're here today at Hina. We're going to have get 250,000 trees planted. It's going to be a really good place for young people to go uh, because, I mean, it's going to be really special to, to young people because it's the first young people's forest that has, that has ever been built. So I'm going to be quite excited when it's finished and just love coming here. And what we're going to do now to mark the beginning of the young people's wood here in Derbyshire is to get some of us old fogies, us old people, and we're going to each give a tree to a young person to plant. And you're the young people who are here to make it happen. So this is going to be the first ever day of the first ever Young People's Wood in Britain. I mean, a big, big thing with, uh, well, I want to do architecture, a big thing with that is using sustainable resources to build houses and stuff. And I mean, one of the most sustainable resources to build out of is wood and to plant more trees. That means you'll be in, got more woods then to cut down and also you're replanting them. So it like levels everything out. Isn't it wonderful? These woods, when they're planted, they'll need looking after and managing. And I think getting young people involved right at the start, I think this is a great initiative. I mean, the, the role the Woodland Trust, and, and I have to say lots of other people, but the Woodland Trust play um, here is really important. And what you're doing, engaging with schools, and you can hear the, the children in the background, this is completely wonderful, is, is so good because um, it's, it's, it's their future. Today we basically made sculptures out of willow and then also we've helped the kids make uh, dream catchers. So, I mean, it was just helping to build awareness, I think, as well at the same time. And I just think, you know, it's a good thing to get kids involved and talking to them about it. So, you know, it just works out as a better thing for everyone. So today we were making dream catchers and then at the end of the day you can take them home. One of the best ways of um, doing something to manage climate change is planting trees. I mean the pleasure of, of trees in an urban environment or woods to walk through are, are, are wonderful. So get some trees planted, that'd be my message. It's going to be really exciting for my children, my children's children and my children's children children's children so it's just gonna be a better environment for everyone to play in and it's just a big area so everyone will be able to play and have fun. So if you want to help create the first young people's forest follow the Woodland Trust and keep an eye out for updates. This is only the beginning and we need people like you. I know that personally I can't wait to see this literally grow from the roots up. Bye!